Hi, my name is Ari, and I'm a rising sophomore at Frisch. My project is the air quality monitor. For my third milestone, I added a plethora of modifications to this project. Firstly, I added a system of three LEDs that indicate to the user what the air quality is. For example, if the air quality is good, then the green LED will turn on. If the air quality is okay, then the yellow LED will turn on. However, if the air quality is very poor, then the red LED will turn on. I wired the LEDs by putting a wire into the negative side of the LED into ground. Then for the positive side, I put a resistor and connected that to a jumper wire, and then I put that wire into a digital pin in the Arduino. Another modification I made was that this buzzer goes off whenever the air quality is very bad, therefore warning the user that the air quality is very poor. And as you can see, the red LED goes on. I wired the buzzer by putting the blue wire from the positive side of the buzzer into a digital pin. And also from the negative side, I put that black wire into ground. Perhaps my biggest modification was I added this ESP8266, which is a Wi-Fi module. This enables the, the sensors to display what they were reading onto uh, Blink, which is a website. I was able to wire the ESP8266 by putting three jumper wires into VCC, which is connected, which is connected to 3.3 volts. Then I put the ground wire into the negative rail on the breadboard, and then I put two jumper wires um, into the digital pins in Arduino. As you can see, the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module first connects to the Wi-Fi and then is able to send the information from the sensors over to Blink. Now you can see that the information is displayed on a website. It shows the air quality, the humidity, temperature in both Fahrenheit and Celsius, as well as the analog value of that the MQ-135 is reading. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned a lot about the air quality monitor.